Yes, um, I was doing the thing on the video, um, and this came to my mind. Jesus said in his word, Jesus said that uh, when Nicodemus came to him uh, in the middle of the night, he said, do not suffer the little ones to come unto me, because such is the kingdom of God. Sean, I laid it beside the bed. I laid it beside the bed. You're not having two of them. And Jesus said that, uh, he said, except a man, and when God says man, he means woman and man, okay? Except the man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus is the only, I repeat, only way you're going to get into heaven. There's not many ways. There's not many avenues. There's one, one way. And that's through the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus shed his blood. He took that punishment. I don't know if you've seen the Passion of Christ. But that don't even show the realness of what happened because he was unrecognizable when they got done with him. And he gave his life because he loved the Father so much. He loved us. Knows how much the Father loved us, and He loves us just as much. But He did it for the Father to give us back. And they knew this before the foundation of the world. He says, I knew you before the foundation. I knew you in your mother's womb. There's so much going on in our earth today, and the world system, the earth, is rebellion, and the world. Hate. They will kill you and think they're doing God a favor. He said, they do that. He said, they'll cut your head off. He said, oh, that doesn't happen. That's been happening a lot in the last, uh, what, since the 90s? And it's more in the media since the uh, 2000s. Uh, Jesus is coming. And he said, when you see these things start to come, says, look up, the birth pains. He says, when you see them, the pestilence, starvation, it's happening. Oh, yes, people. Oh, yes, starvation's coming to America. Yeah. Um, he said, the, the pestilence, they're talking about bacteria now. That's all. Jesus loves you. Um, he said that uh, I mean, they're talking about the news about pestilence, and it's happening in the, in the United States of America, pestilence, that they cannot kill this bacteria because the antibiotics, is at, it actually has overcome the antibiotics. And Jesus said, I'm not, not, I mean, Jesus said in the end days, he said that um, there will be wars and be rumors of wars. Do not fear. He's talking to the child of God. We are not to fear what's coming on this earth. If you are born again, and you know Jesus, I mean you know Jesus. I don't mean you play with Jesus. I don't mean Jesus um, on Sundays. I'm talking about 24 hours a day you serve the Lord. You walk in his path. That's what I'm talking about. Those that have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. I'm not talking about you people that are playing games. If you are, he'll forgive you now. Repent and get it oh, get it under the blood. Call upon him while there is time to call upon him. Seek his face while there is time to seek his face. I'm talking about where you can have peace in your mind. You know, Jesus, he loved you so much he went to hell for you. He paid the penalty. He knows what people in hell are going through. He said, when you hear rumors of wars, 
when you start to see these things coming to pass, then he says there will be pestilence. He says, he said in Psalms 91, a thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it won't come night your dwelling. That's talking about your temple, which you are the temple of God if you're born again. And he's talking about your physical home. He said, if you really believe, I mean, you can pray and know that he can protect your property. I send the chariots of fire around my property. I send the chariots of fire. I ask the Lord to protect my daughter. She's on and off right now. I ask the Lord to protect her. She's, you know, she says, Mom, why are you worrying? I says, where do you get worrying from me? People come off, you're worrying if you prepare for safety measures that you're worrying. I said, Jane, what do I have to worry about? I die, I'm in the presence of God, wherever. And it dawned on her, she's like, you didn't hit her yet, and I said, if I die, I'm in the presence of God forever. I don't fear this, anything that's happening on this earth. I have nothing to fear. And she's like, oh. I said, because I'm preparing for if a disaster happens, I mean, God's, we're not to be fools. He said these things are going to happen. And it, you know, and the Bible talks about the sun being darkened. If a volcano of Yellowstone goes off, we ain't having no light. Earthquakes are happening in many places today. Look at the floods down, up and higher, down in Missouri, at tornadoes. Um, they are increasing. They are so shocked that this many's happened. And you have your soothsayers. All oh, these always happen. This is always bad. Oh, with them trying to find a date and put it. And Jesus says they will increase in intensity. And it's happening. Everything he said. You can call us soothsayers or call us whatever you want. Jesus' word is true. Period. His word is coming to pass. Yes. Judgment. Judgment. Oh, they're trying to say that this is global warming. No, it's the judgment of God. And children of God, us, are guilty for not praying the protection over our nations, not just the United States. We are to pray for the peace of Israel, and we are pray for, to pray for our enemies. And those who spitefully use you and say all manner of evil against you, you are to forgive, love, hold, pray, and dig in. Jesus said, I, and he says, my righteous ones have never been forsaken. Jesus, Yeshua, Mashiach, Jesus Christ, the anointed one, Jesus is coming. What will you give? What lie will you believe? Not everyone's going in the rapture. He said, only those that are looking for my return. I come as a thief in the night. Two events. The beginning and the end. The second coming is at the end. The second coming is when Jesus comes back to fight the battle of Armageddon. Against the Antichrist and the ones that follow him, to take the mark of the beast, the chip, whatever you want to call it, tattoo, chip. People are getting so, um, now I don't believe everything Alex Jones says, but some of the things that young man says is true. And he says it before it hits the news. Let me tell you, he says it. And you wonder, you know, you know, even Fox News anymore ain't straightforward as they used to be. Now Hannity used to stick out there. And Glenn Beck's preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm kind of like, you know, well, he's a Mormon. The man's preaching the gospel. Jesus says the rocks will call out. And I'll call him Glenn Beck a rock. Okay? Um, I pray for Glenn Beck. I believe the man really true in his heart. And I do believe he loves Jesus. The difference, I think, from the Mormons and the child children of God is 
we believe in Jesus is three but one. They believe he did. They're three. There ain't one. And uh, uh, I'm not sure about that, but I think that's what they believe. Um, but Jesus is coming. Prepare your spirit, soul, and body. Pray. Seek. Jesus says, "Those who seek my face, I will answer them." And He says, "Blessed are them that have." No out there that ain't having visions of the rapture and this and that. He said, blessed are them that have not seen and yet believe. So, don't beat yourself up over that. Because a lot of people are having visions and dreams. He didn't say everybody. He said, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. And that's happening in other nations. Oh, Jesus is being poured everywhere. Just because it's not really kicked into the United States does not mean you know, we're not the compass of the world. Israel is. Israel. And they are camped around by their enemies. We are to pray for them, their protection. Father God, I sent your word and you said you would heal them. Jesus, your word is true. Those that have an ear to hear what I'm saying, and a lot will not, and maybe one, I don't know. Only you know that. But I send your word, Yeshua. Your word is truth and life. No man can come to you or Father God or the Holy Spirit except through your shed blood and resurrection power. And remember, Jesus rules you in. We plant the seed, faith, body of Christ. We plant the seed. The Holy Spirit grows the seed. And he gives us all a free will. Many believe that Jesus is, but they don't serve Jesus. He says, those that do not hate their father, their mother, their their families, their wives, they will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And he don't mean hate like the world thinks hate is. He means, he says, you've got to deny yourself. Deny yourself. Deny yourself. So, so, Jesus loves you. Now, Father God, I send you word, and you said your word would heal them. Your cell phone, everything. You could have the Word of God literally going into your spirit 